My name's Kalida. I'm a doctor in a busy hospital in London. My job is quite stressful because I work in the accident and emergency unit. Our hospital is the only one in the area with an A and E, so all the urgent cases come to us. Mostly, we see people who have been in car crashes or had an accident at home. When people arrive at the unit, I have to see them first. I examine them to find out what's wrong and make sure we give them the right treatment. When we're sure the patients aren't in any serious danger, the nurses put all the information in their personal records and find them a bed if they're staying in hospital, or arrange for them to go home if they don't need to stay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to give a talk in this series of employment lectures. I'm here this evening to tell you about my job. I'm going to tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and what I hope to do in the future. Okay. Well, I'm a police officer. I've been in the police for just over five years, and part of my job is to give talks to students about police work. People often ask why I joined the police, so maybe I'll start there. I've always been interested in law and order, so I went to study law at university. But、uh, when I got there, I realised that I was more interested in the practical side of law than the theory. So I applied to work with the police force in my spare time. Then, as soon as I graduated, I was accepted for training. As you know, our job is to protect the public from criminals and defend the law. So obviously, the police force has to work every day of the week, day and night. This means we're often at work when everyone else is relaxing with friends and family, and we can't always be around for special occasions like birthdays and New Year's Eve. On top of that, we have a lot of extra work at weekends, especially when there's a football match and the fans are out celebrating. So our working hours are one disadvantage of police work. A lot of the time, we have to work with the public to avoid problems, and we get special training for that. But we can't always prevent trouble. So another disadvantage of the job is the danger. I mean, we know that some of the people we have to arrest will attack us. Now for the advantages. Well, one of the advantages is that police work is well paid. As I've said, it's a difficult job, and police officers work hard for their pay. But there are many more advantages. For example, sometimes the work's fun, especially when we have to protect famous people from their own fans. I've met quite a lot of celebrities in my job, and I must say I enjoy seeing them close up and finding out what they're really like as people. But for me, the biggest advantage is the job satisfaction. Speaking for myself, I would say I get the most job satisfaction when I help someone. Or solve a problem in a community, and in the future, I'd like to train to be a detective. I think I'd be good at that. Hello, everyone. I'm Jennifer, and I work for Campus Security. Welcome to this very short talk about emergency phone numbers. To start with, you need to know that emergency numbers aren't the same in every country. As we're in Britain at the moment, it's important to know that the emergency number is nine nine nine. So you'll need to remember this. Those of you who've been to the United States will know that the emergency number is nine one one, slightly different. But in Australia, the emergency number is completely different. It's zero zero zero. In Germany, the emergency number is the same as the rest of Europe. That's one one two. And in case anyone's thinking of going on holiday to India this summer, it's useful to know that the emergency number there is one hundred. 
Good morning. I'm here today to give you a few tips about security on campus. We're not just here to prevent crime, but to make sure you're safe 24 hours a day. One of the services we provide for students who live on campus is to walk home with you if you need to cross the campus late at night. I mean, we all know the halls of residence are quite a long way from the library, don't we? So, for example, If you've been studying in the library till late and you're nervous about going home alone, all you have to do is ring campus security on 3333 and we'll send someone to make sure you're safe. OK? a y By the way, another important thing to remember is the campus emergency number.、Uh, we all know the national emergency number in the UK is 999, but when you're on campus, And there's an emergency, you should call 3333. If you call 3333, you'll get through to our own staff right here on campus. They can react quickly and get to you faster than national services. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me to talk to you today. I like speaking to students, especially when there's a chance of making their lives a bit safer. Just to start, does anyone know what the most common crime is? No? Well, theft is the most common crime in the UK. There are various kinds of theft. For instance, robbery. When a thief takes something away from someone personally, like when you're walking in the street and someone grabs your handbag or your mobile and runs away, that's robbery. Another form of theft is burglary, when a thief breaks into your house and steals your property. OK, a y now I'd like to go on to talk about safety on holiday. You probably know that when you're on holiday abroad, you're in much more danger of being robbed. This is because you probably don't know the country very well. For example, you might not realise that you're in a dangerous area. One of the things you can do to protect yourself is to keep your passport and money in the safe in the hotel. You can always go back and get them if you need them. Another thing you can do is take an old mobile with you on holiday. These new smartphones are very popular with thieves all over the world. It's safer just to take an old one.